hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you how i take down my five weeks old dookie braid slash cornrows i'm gonna be taking you guys on the process on how i try to minimize excessive damage and breakage and also retain length as well so if you're interested you want to keep on watching okay so this is what my hair looks like currently it's been five weeks and you can barely see my scalp except i literally opened them up i was quite surprised because my scalp looks very clean and also from the look of things i can see some undergrowth beneath all that cornrows so my hair actually grew whenever i take down my cornrows and i don't use water i realize that taking down cornrows when it is dry detangling when your hair is dry just helps in losing a lot of hair so this time around i decided to switch things up a little bit and i saturated my hair with a lot of water before actually going ahead to detangle you can see how i'm carefully just loosening these cornrows it's one thing to gain length is one thing to, for your hair to grow it's another thing for you to retain that length now my hair has obviously grown from this from the look of this video one thing that can ruin everything is when you're taking down your, your protective style so me taking down this protective style i'm super careful i'm not in a hurry i just literally take my time to unravel and loosen up these cornrows now another thing which i did differently this time around is is using a conditioner before my shampoo i have never done this before this was like my first time i tried the mega growth detangling conditioner this was what i used to detangle my hair first before using shampoo so it had a nice smell no doubt and when i used this it felt as though i applied water spray it had no sleep at all and I was quite disappointed but it did a very good job at detangling my hair I just didn't like the fact that it didn't have any sleep it didn't feel like a conditioner I'm gonna show you guys what the consistency looks like so once I applied it to my hair it just literally turned into water but anyways it did the job it helps to detangle my hair and this is the amount of hair that came off from that first section after detangling so it wasn't a lot and i was quite impressed that's one of the things which i did differently detangling my hair with a conditioner before shampoo so yeah that's what i did all through my hair as you can see i'm just trying to detangle with my fingers and as i'm doing that i'm very careful at the front just so that we don't have a lot of breakage again so now um yeah i do mostly finger detangling because i believe that the stress on your hair strands is lesser like it's very low compared to using a comb i just feel like i just feel like the finger detangling is the best option so um i did this throughout the whole hair before I actually went ahead to shampoo so feel free to saturate your hair as you go on just so that your hair is well you know moisturized and it makes the whole detangling process easy also try out using a detangling conditioner or any any conditioner at all before your shampoo So guys just to show you the consistency of the mega growth conditioner the detangling conditioner you can see how runny it is yeah it just validates what i was saying it doesn't have a very good sleep you can see even when i apply it to my hair strands you can barely see it but as far as it does the job i just went ahead with it so i wouldn't say it's the best for natural hair but it does the job anyways notice that i'm going to start putting my hair in twists every single time after each section this is because it's better to wash your hair in sections rather than just washing your hair as it is so put your hair in twists it's better to wash in twists even though it takes a longer time but it's better so that is all that came off from my detangling process now i'm just going to rinse off all that conditioner and then we're going to head on to the next step which is shampoo so it is here that i am washing my hair in sections as well and and i'm using my shampoo 
on my scalp most especially so i focus on my scalp if you haven't watched my previous wash day routine i would advise you can check that out and it's advisable to wash your hair in sections and wash your scalp the lather from washing your scalp is just going to, to cleanse your strands so focus on your scalp i put my hair in twists again because i'm also going to deep condition in sections okay so um yeah so this is just me washing my hair from section to section So this is after I'm done with everything and I just decided to um, cleanse my scalp again just before the final rinsing. So now I'm using my water to just rinse off all that shampoo. Then we're going to the next step which is conditioning, deep conditioning actually. So yeah, um, make sure you take out all the soap and your hair is well cleansed. So as you can see now, the soap from the scalp is just going to cleanse your strands so you don't have to go ahead washing your strands because that can actually lead to tangles and your hair can mat together and it's not just good if you're trying to retain length so wash in sections and wash your scalp focus on your scalp and your strands are just going to be cleansed while you're rinsing okay so this is it and I'm done with shampoo. So next up, I'm going to be using the Mega Growth Deep Conditioner. This is not the first time I'm using this one, and I can say that I love, love, I love this deep condition. So this is the length of my hair. I was quite shocked. My hair actually grew, no doubt. So you can see the excitement on my face, and I also did a check at the back, but I'm sorry you guys will not be able to see it um, just because of the way my camera was compositioned. But anyways, my hair actually grew. I was going to go ahead to use my Mega Growth Deep Conditioner to deep condition my hair. This one is what is shocking me. notice the fact that i'm doing this from my roots down to my ends and i'm making sure that i coat my strands as well as also deep condition my roots the deep conditioner from mega growth is one deep conditioner which i love it makes my hair feel very soft i just don't know why the detangling conditioner doesn't doesn't suit me but i love the deep conditioner it makes my hair really really soft so look at my length and this is what i'm just going to do all the way through my hair so deep condition from your roots down to the tip of your hair strands okay amount of hair which i lost in total 
plus detangling plus deep conditioning this is the amount of hair which i lost in total it's so tiny and i wasn't expecting this but anyways i went on to wear my plastic cap and i also doubled this up with a towel so i used the plastic cap first to deep condition and then i went on to put on a towel just for added heat okay because my hair is low porosity so i'm going to be using some body heat to allow the deep conditioner to penetrate my hair strands so um yeah i left this on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then i came back and then i rinsed it off so yeah this was basically all that i had to do to um take down my cornrows so to properly rinse out the deep conditioner which i have on my hair i had to unravel the twist which i already had just so that the water can really cleanse my strands and take out the deep conditioner so yeah um this was how i basically took down my cornrows and by doing this this was very new to me i tried out new things and i realized that it just helped to retain the length which i bought from those five weeks okay so it's very important to start with conditioner before actually going to shampoo because shampooing directly is just going to cause a lot of angles and your hair could just mat together okay so yeah this is it this is the end result i do have a video which is going to be coming up on how i did a wash and go immediately after the wash day routine so if you're interested you might want to subscribe like this video and also comment down below if you're looking forward to that wash and go okay so um yeah let me know what you guys think about this wash day routine and i'll be more than happy to reply your comments in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys